Alchemix is a project I really love. If you're not involved in Alchemix, if you don't have your Ethereum deposited in Alchemix to spend on your crazy NFT gambles and things like that, you're freaking crazy, all right? Alchemix is your bank, your savings account, your safe degenerate account. It is the way to roll. The LEU's treasury is completely on Alchemix. I'm waiting for V2 to drop personally here in the next month to get my personal uh, Alchemix game up and rocking again. Again, key point there is again. Let's go over the newsletter that just dropped. So much just happened. Look at this beautiful cover. The calm before the storm, right before, right before V2 drops here. It's in audit right now by runtime verification. Dear Alchemix friends, the December Alchemix update. We return to provide all the latest news and updates on the Alchemix protocol. With V2 shipped to auditors, there's been a brief pause in activity as the core team has taken a moment to cool down after months of hard work. However, DeFi never sleeps, and the rest of the ecosystem has been busy preparing for an explosion in Alchemix activity in 2022. The core team have now turned their focus to scaling Alchemix by deploying to L2s, sidechains, and competing L1 blockchains. This is an important factor for users, many of whom have provided feedback that they're priced out of the Ethereum mainnet. As always, we remind you that we are interested in your feedback, ideas, articles, art, and anything else you want to offer for inclusion into the newsletter. Your support will be not will not go unrecognized, and the tip bot has been locked and loaded. Let's go. And it really has. Community artwork for the issue. Dude, Jacob does amazing paintings. These are... The, Jacob's an amazing community member in the Alchemix Discord, and his paintings are... This is hand-drawn. This is so sweet. Like, I fucking want a print of these. Alchemix Protocol stats. Total value, $1.47 billion is locked up in Alchemix currently. The Die Vault alone for stablecoins holds $428 million in die right now and the apy 6.14 percent i believe since writing that has actually dropped it is down to 3.755 percent 4.6 percent for eth as we speak the eth vault has 67,000 ethereum locked up in it 273 million dollars in ethereum is deposited in the alchemix eth vault eth apy we just said right around the 4.8 protocol owned liquidity via bonding 2.6 percent that is awesome so what's happening here is Alchemix is selling bonds to own their own liquidity tokens. When the treasury owns the liquidity, nobody can dump on us, right? So I really like that Alchemix is taking the time to bond the ALCX token and own their own liquidity. It's only been like a month and we're up to 2.6% of the liquidity pooling uh, for Alchemix is owned by the actual protocol itself. I would really like to see this number continue to climb. I love what we're doing here. Uh, DeFi 2.0 and the team like Scoopy, Gorbs, Techno, all the people that are involved in Alchemix are doing amazing stuff, to be honest. I don't want to let it leave anybody out, but I also don't want to mention anybody that doesn't want to be mentioned. But man, I love it. Twitter followers, 51,000, just climbing, constantly climbing. Discord members breaking over 9,000, climbing. Everybody needs to get in the Discord. That's where all the alpha is. That's where all the talk is. If you want to learn about Alchemix, if you have questions, you need to get in the Discord. NFTs are dropping. Alchemix is pleased to announce the Alchemix theme collection of animated uh, NFTs. A while ago, the Alchemix team quietly commissioned a collection of 12 Alchemix themed animated gifts to be produced by a talented artist who collaborates with Alchemix on marketing artwork. Over 200 hours have since been spent on the project, with the artist painstakingly creating each animation frame by frame. Each of the 12 uh, images will be issued as an NFT with varying attributes and scarcities and will be made available to the community on the basis of historical activity and contributions. Specific details about the release, including the exact eligibility criteria and release timing, are still be determined. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sexes. Sexes. We love sex. The ALCX token has recently been listed on three additional central exchanges. Binance. Coinbase. Okay, E, let's go. This is in addition to existing exchanges, Gemini, come on, AEX, FTX, L Bank, Hotbit, and Gate.io's. The additional listings help to, to uh, ensure that even more people can gain exposure to the future success of Alchemix. Let's go. They released also uh, an Alchemix. If you voted and participated in the Tokamak, you get an Alchemex. NFT, if you participated, Token Mac Liquidity Director voting is live. If you want to vote for liquidity in Token Mac to be directed 
to Alchemix liquidity pools. You can now go for that, go vote for that on Token Mac. Al Asset Peg Insurance. If you need insurance on borrowing your Al ETH or your uh, Al USD, DeFi Insurance Protocol Risk Harbor has announced that it will offer DPEG insurance for users of Al USD. Oh, it's only Al USD. My bad. Cut that part out about the Al ETH Resta. Chop it. But DeFi Insurance Protocol Risk Harbor has announced that it will offer DPEG insurance for US or for users, whoa, for users of AlUSD. The insurance product is backed by Chainlink price feed oracle, which also means the previously hinted AlUSD price feed is now in place. Ooh, Chainlink price feed. Dude, Friday fireside chats. If you're in North America or South America, I know it's hard. It's like starts at 7 in the morning EST. But if you're on the other side of the world, Resta, you can hop in the Alchemix fireside chat 7 p.m. for you every Friday, 7 p.m. Hop in the Alchemix Fireside chat, get all the alpha, enjoy the fun, you know. And as always, community, yo, have you produced content about Alchemix? Please get in touch, let them know. The journal, this newsletter here, we need contributions. We want people to contribute to this. Descriptions of creative or usual uses of Alchemix Vault, examples of how Alchemix is being integrated into a personal finance strategy. Helpful or accessible onboarding guides or tutorials. Media coverage in mainstream outlets. Quality contributions may result in a tip from the project. Alchemix V2 status here. This is what everybody wants. The juicy, juicy, juicy. And we saved it till the end of the video, okay? We saved it till the end of the video, all right? Alchemix V2 has captured a lot of interest amongst the community and users regularly asking, when launch? When V2? When audit? When runtime verification? Scoopy when? When? It's formally uh, commenced on 1st of November. The audit process started on the 1st of November. Runtime verification, I'm very excited. I'd love to say, though, does it, does it ping Scoopy's heart a little bit to know that runtime verification might be a little bit backed up because they're working on a bunch of Cardano projects that are about to release? What about all the Cardano dApps and runtime verification working with Cardano? How does that really touch... Scoopy Truples is heart, Scoopy. Let us know in the comments down below, all right? So far, there have been no major findings or conclusion. The audit is proceeding uneventfully. Even though four weeks without any update may seem like a lifetime in DeFi, this is an instance of no news is good news. Absolutely. Team has turned its attention to scaling Alchemix V2 by deploying beyond the Ethereum mainnet. Candidate chains for Alchemix deployment were previously identified in the Alchemix V2 roadmap, including L2 rollups, L1 sidechains, and competing L1s. The plan for V2 deployment is still being finished or finalized, and community is actively debating future deployments. So feel free to drop by the Alchemix Discord to participate in the discussion. Try and ask for Cardano. <laughs> oh my God! I can't wait to see it on L2s and see where we're going. I can't wait to be able to like use Alchemix without such high fees and it really can be like an everyday bank account i mean this is what DeFi was built for the magic of alchemix and like uh the ability to just have such uh what's the word i'm looking for like capital efficiency um and being able to save and also spend your money at the same time and just being very capital efficient is amazing uh to unlock for the everyday person and i believe it will help everybody you know from from the people at, at the bottom of the economic level who it's very hard to save, this is going to help them be able to save a little bit. All the way up to the people up top that are just trying to ape into different JPEGs safely and they just want to conserve their Ethereum and not really ape into their JPEG of an egg or a chicken or an ape or like whatever it may be with their own Ethereum that they want to give up, you know? Announcing the Alchemix DAO game. Dude, Biddles! Biddles! The anonymous shadowy super coder in the Discord, really good person. If you've been hanging around the Discord, you've seen the shadowy super coder community member Biddles appear in the chat where he's pasted some obscure solidity code, mumbles something about a game with an eyes emoji, and then disappears as suddenly as he arrived. Today we'd like to share some details about what he's been working on as well as an update on the progress made. Biddles recognized that the current Alchemix DAO version uh, vision of a character with inventory slots for NFTs. There will likely be a surplus of the more common NFTs, so he, see, so he sought to create a game that would address this potential glut. The problem, inspired by the vision for a fully on-chain Layer 2, time-delayed strategy game that will burn, use unwanted NFTs, 
lock up ALCX tokens, and give users another way to obtain Materia shards. I like this. So he's already thinking about the burn mechanic issues and the NFT gaming of the Alchemix DAO. He's already thinking about the issues that are being seen in Axie Infinity right now. These are people that are building on top, standing on the shoulders of giants here, recognizing the issues of those giants that came first and trying to go ahead and solve those problems up front with burn mechanics and ways to lock up tokens. The game's played on a consistently expanding grid. Land tiles are claimed by burning Alchemist da Alchemix DAO NFTs by burning the NFTs to claim land. Users attack adjacent lands with NFTs matching the NFT type used to create the land. Defeated tiles are scorched, no longer owned or claimable, and NFTs used for battle are burned or auctioned off for ALCX tokens. Whoa. The game stakes all the owned ALCX and distributes Materia shards to users based on the strength of their kingdom. Some additional ideas include constructing buildings, utility for buildings such as attack modifications, capturing rather than destroying tiles, and partnering with other kingdoms. Whoa! This seems like a really sweet game. This seems like a really sweet game. Biddles has written much of the solidity required in Claim Land. For claiming land and executing standard attack defense maneuvers, the next step is to build Web3 front end so that interested community members can test the game out in order to contribute ideas and feedback in order to help improvements and balance the game. Wow, this seems pretty dope. Biddles is recently revealed as the shadowy super coder behind another Alchemix project. We won't be dropping any details just yet, but let's just say the stream of information coming from this newsletter is something you might want to pay attention to in the future. Stream pay is very interesting. What if, what if you were saving an Alchemix and you had uh, available debt that you could borrow and you wanted to stream pay somebody monthly or weekly, you know, what if you wanted to stream pay to your kids their allowance? You just wanted it to show up in their wallet every week. Bing, bing, bing. What if you wanted to stream pay, pay for your internet or your cell phone? Or something like that. Or your rent. What if you wanted your rent on stream pay? Very, very interesting concept. Very interested in this. The Alchemix community landing page. Overqualified! Overqualified another amazing Alchemix Discord community member. There's so many amazing Alchemix community Discord members that are participating in the Discord. And not only that, helping us write articles or do artwork like Jacob. And there's even more people behind here. I don't know if I want to mention everybody, but there's tons of people behind here that are helping us, you know, edit and make sure that all the grammar and spelling is correct. If you know me, I'm horrible at spelling and grammar. So it's amazing to have all these people involved in the community newsletter. A while back, I made a Notion page featuring frequently asked questions and answer to a lot of the repeat messages we get from newer community members. Some of us use the page to be able to quickly answer questions by simply sharing the link and pointing to a specific question number. I had a vision to develop this page into a full-blown landing page for new users, but never got around to it. Thankfully, community member Del Boy decided to see another community member steps in and helps build it out. Dude, that is what's great about the Alchemix community, dude. And, and decentralization and all of this whole revolution going on. Del Boy decided he wanted to do it. He built out a concept, showed it to me, and I told my Notion FAQ boss, a.k.a. me, that he sucks, and I'm quitting to go work for Del Boy. We migrated content from the old FAQ, gave it a refresh, and added some new content. So without further ado, here's the brand new community landing page. I fucking love it. Please take it for a spin. Look at what questions we answer. Link new users to it. What could be helpful? The next step is to archive all the old media links in this page and consolidate the Alchemix Discord media channel into a curated list of the most applicable and relevant art articles. Wow. Alchemix is already seeing a large uptake in new vault users and token holders, and V2 will only accelerate this, so it's important to make the onboarding process as streamlined as possible. Community to answer the questions faster than any Discord community I've seen. Let's go! Maybe accept the dev support yunts. Including Dixie. Oh, nice. So we are mentioning people. Let's go. Dixie's out there. OX Ranger who volunteered to help keep community landing page up to date. Alchemix has the potential to be one of the best DeFi products for non-crypto native natives to use and improve their lives, but also take time to wrap one's head around it due to it being a very novel concept. Dude, this is awesome. NFT artist Valkyrie created these amazing Alchemix NFTs and they just dropped. And they, here is always a list of resources. We'll put the list to the Alchemix Substack and uh, this email 
uh, post, the Substack post in the description down below. That's an update on Alchemix. If you're not using the Alchemix vaults, um, I don't know what to tell you. You don't own some ALCX. I don't know what to tell you. If you're not in this Discord talking to people, don't know what to tell you.